in this video, we're going to be going over what to do at the altar when the altar says the altar is empty. You have to walk away. Perfect. Son of a bitch. No, no. Oh, damn. So the first thing you need to do is find a source of water. And in the room, there'll be a barrel of water after you open it up, I think, once. Uh, originally, how I got it open was with the squirt gun, the water soaker. Um, once you push the barrel or whatever water source, you'll go in and hit your activation button, which should open up a secret room. In there, you're going to have to open up a grate that has two locks on it, so you always have to have two keys. See, there's the water soaker. Fuck yeah. Well, the mega doser. So this would have been a way that also would have put out the fire. I'm going to unlock it now, because I have a bad tendency to waste all of my keys on chests, so just get that done with. The Mega Douser is also really handy for getting another piece of the bullet. Uh, there's a giant chasm and you can use the soaker to reveal the invisible path. Suggestion before going into the secret room, I would... Was that the secret room? I would try and fight the boss first. This will give you a chance at an extra heart and another weapon maybe, so when you're down there you don't run out of ammo. You just have to not blow it and not die. Getting that extra heart. And another weapon. So, oh, that was the secret room. So now we're gonna go into the grate. Give me a cursor. Damn it. So, oblete. Oblete. Yes, now we're here. Uh, these enemies are a lot of poison, kind of goo. These guys spit out poison on the floor. I think they're also immune to it, which would make sense. They puke it. Perfect. So once you get to the second floor, you'll find a room that has a piece of armor in it. Do not take this at the time. You need to keep this piece of armor through the second level till you get to that altar. So if you take it now, you run the risk of taking damage and losing that. I apologize for the cursor. I would load up on blank so you don't take any damage once you get the crest. So you fight a blob here, he's not the most challenging because you're not really supposed to take damage on him if you take the armor right away. Um, blob Lord will drop a little turtle occasionally, who's a little awesome helper. Do not forget to grab the crest, I have done that before, it's incredibly frustrating. And the armor. Go ahead and pick that up and then make your way to the elevator. So now is the challenging part. Now is the point where you have to take the armor, don't get hit or whatever, and get to that altar that you know. Check the shop most of the time, often his room will lead to it. I was wrong. So I'm just not gonna. I'll maybe go there after. Oh, son of a bitch! Son of a bitch. Well, this is where you would need to take it. Okay. 
Oh, how this is such a different run than last time. Son of a bitch. Hadoosh! <gasps> <laughs> and it works, fuck yeah. <gasps> nice! Okay, so once you get to the altar and you have the armor, then you can actually walk up and place the crest. You'll have a save option, and then once this is open, you're free to go back to doing whatever you want in the level, or you could go down. And for the sake of not losing this content, I'm gonna go down. And then you get the Abbey of the True Gun. This is where you will fight kind of priesty. I don't know. They're different enemies, of course. And the boss being the old bullet or something like that. Uh, so here's the other kind of enemy that you face. It's like, I don't know. I would say peasant. That's kind of what I always think. But. Reminiscent of another boss. The old king, not old bullet. Um, I don't know if you can get a perfect score on this guy, as in getting the extra heart. Because I haven't done that. Ow. Fuck. Son of a bitch. Well, either way. He's a tough boss to beat, but when you kill him, you actually unlock the... You unlock the scarf, the bloodied scarf. If I do recall correctly. So unfortunately I did not kill him in this recording. But I at least uh, you have the idea of how to get to him. And what you'll need to do to get there. As always I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next episode.